Breaking news. There was tension on Tuesday morning in Ekolobia, a Guata local government area of Anambra State, when an official of the Anambra Traffic Management Agency, ATMA, was killed by unknown gunmen. Though details of the incidents are still catch, you know, sketchy, it was learned that the deceased was controlling traffic at the ever busy Equilobia Junction when he was gunned down. The bullet was said to have scattered his head from behind. In October 2021, four policemen were killed by unknown gunmen in the community. The gunmen who were riding on a convoy with you know of three Siena vehicle had run into the policemen and immediately opened fire on them. What is your thoughts to this? This is exactly what we've been saying about insecurity as people are not longer safe, even at the place of work. What is your thoughts to this? We've just heard about the present situation of things. As there was tension on Tuesday morning in Equilobia, a Guata local government area of Anambra State, when an official of the Anambra Traffic Management Agency, ATMA, was killed by unknown gunmen. It is said that the deceased was controlling traffic at the ever busy Equilobia Junction when he was, you know, gunned down. What is your own reaction to this? There is huge tension presently now, you know, as the gunmen invaded. Anambra community killing a traffic official on duty. People are no longer safe even at their duty post. People are being killed. What is your thought to this present security situation we have in Nigeria as our leaders now are all thinking of the 2023 general election that is what is on their head presently now, whereas killings all sort of you know situation are happening behind the scene. We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. We would like you to share it with us via the comment section on this that has been said. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts to this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Let's see what people have in mind on this. Well, Rice Lee reacted to this and said, said well, I'm sure the criminal in Amdekano will be happy now that his boys have strike again. We've just had what Rice Lee have said. Do you think in Amdekano's boys are the ones who probably might have done this? What is your own reaction to this? As you can see, people believe that IPOP and ESN probably might be the one who have done this present situation. And don't forget that it has been said that IPOP is not a terrorist group. IPOP is not a terrorist group. It's just a group, you know, set aside to help in actualizing the Biafra struggle. IPOP is not a terrorist group. It has been said times that number. And Mazenam Dikan also has confirmed that IPOP isn't a terrorist group. Now, do you think IPOP could be responsible for this pain situation? Do you think IPOP could be responsible for the death of the traffic official that has been gunned down in Anambra State? We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this. We would like you to share your own point of view with us via the comment section. Okay, Biafra also reacted to this and said, Fulani are it again. What is your thought to this? We've just heard him saying that Fulani, you know, at it again. Do you think it is the Fulani headsmen who probably could have done this? We all can see that people are now reacting to this differently. We have some people who've said it probably could be IPOP. It probably could be ESN, while some are saying that it is the, you know, Fulanis that are, you know, at it again. They are the one responsible, you know, for this present situation of things. Who would like you to let us know your thoughts to this? Who would like you to share your own reaction with us on this that has been said? Joe Lex Joe reacted to this and said, The game have changed. We've just heard him saying, The game have changed. Ayo Richie also reacted and said, Ibos would ignore this 
But if it's about Yoruba land, they will troop out to criticize. What is your thought to this? So many things are happening in Nigeria that, in fact, not everything is being, you know, uploaded. Not everything the medias, you know, can talk about. So many things are happening that we have not even heard about some. We just hope that all these things will become things of the past and we'll be able to have, you know, the Nigeria of which we have been longing for because if all these, you know, insecurity challenges continue like this, of course, we'll wake up one day and find out that there's no country to call Nigeria again. We would like you to let us know your own, you know, point of view to this. AY Daniel said, I pop an ASN on Rampage. God will surely punish those behind this for bringing calamity upon the Igbos. What is your thoughts to this? We've also had AY Denny saying that, I probably hear saying could probably be responsible for this, but whosoever is behind all these killings, whosoever is behind all these you know atrocities, will surely be punished. You know, we will don't say IPOB is responsible for this because you all know that if IPOB should be responsible for something like this, the Nigerian government will not hesitate to disclose their identity. Don't forget that we fired from the federal government of Nigeria saying that. Over 96 identities of the sponsors of terrorism in Nigeria has been, you know, gotten, but they refuse to disclose them to the whole world. They refuse to disclose these identities to Nigerians. But we all know that they said they've gotten their identity, they've gotten, you know, their whereabouts, they've gotten their names, but none of these identities was disclosed to Nigerians. Of course, if it should be IPOB members responsible for all these atrocities, uh, probably some of the IPOB members are sponsors of these, you know, insecurity challenges. The Nigerian government will not hesitate, you know, to disclose their identities. Don't forget that it took, you know, Nigerian government not a second to proscribe IPOB as a terrorist group. So it will also not take them even a second to also disclose the identity if they are the ones responsible. So with this, I think IPOB and ASN probably are not responsible for all these things happening in Nigeria. We just hope that the true identity of these murderers, Fulanis, of those, you know, killers, kidnappers, and every other banditry activities, you know, being done in Nigeria and their perpetrators will be brought to book and their identities will be disclosed, you know, for everyone to know. Because we have the right to know people who have been oppressing us. All these things are getting too much. We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. Like to share it with us via the comment section. Don't forget that there's tension in Anambra State as gunmen invade a community and kill a traffic, you know, official on duty. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.